Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Asphalt 8 on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Asphalt 8 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Asphalt 8. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all folks, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the PC screen. You don't need to type it, simply because there's the link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We landed on this page on the website of Usitility, exactly where we get a precise information on the way to download and install Asphalt 8 on PC. We search down a tad and click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on that link, we arrive here on the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we will run to enjoy the game Asphalt 8 on our PC. As you can see here we have a great deal of pros of running this emulator. Now we are on the way to start downloading the Asphalt 8 by clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on it. And the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It's an executable file. What we are going to do is to launch the executable file, so we need to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make changes to the laptop or device. We have clicked yes. I minimize the browser to see the installer significantly better. The installer is really simple. It includes two possibilities, install and setup path. I will explain what setup path truly does. We just click on it. And so we see that we display here the path in which the emulator can be set up. If we plan to change for better this directory we have got to click on that, browse, button, and we decide on another folder and set up the emulator where we want. To keep it simple, just set it as it is. Then, I click on back. And I pick install. Now, there it is. The install starts and it is going to continue in the download of all these MB that are shown on that screen. As you save it on your computer, it is likely to be a little bit more or less megabytes. The download rate will go faster or at a lower speed, determined by your internet and according to the speed capacity of the emulator web servers. Now they are going quite fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has actually been launched instantly. As you can see, down here, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right and once it attains the end, the emulator is launched for the first time. In reality the emulator has already been launched, here for the very first time. Before we continue, as now you can see, it has created two icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is the one we are focused on. Each time we need to operate Asphalt 8 on the desktop or laptop, we double-click this particular software icon and run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's do the next phase, that is a requirement, and this is to access the Google Play Store. To do this we will go there to, System Apps, we click. And we will click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is presented. Here we need to log on. At this moment when we are on this page, we must absolutely perform the following step that is definitely obligatory. So we mouse click on, sign in. Now it announces, checking info. It can from time to time get blocked in, checking info, that's why it fails to move forward. If so, you can try to connect to your account after a number of hours and it may almost certainly be solved. Now we are going to type in our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email and its corresponding password. For instance you make use of the very same email you use right now in your YouTube account. Thus I will type in my information and I'll go back as soon as I have accomplished it. Voila, data entered. Discover Google welcoming us and providing us their twos. We are going to consent to them all simply by clicking on, I agree. Next, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You could let it select it and it will make a backup of the data on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play is launched without need to open it manually and instantly. To set up the application, we have got to go to the Android emulator desktop by simply clicking on this icon designated green colored. At present that we are on the desktop of that emulator, we observe that we have now there the install app button. We simply click on this button. Listed here we have the game. 
Why don't we simply click now on the install button that I'm just displaying now in green? That click will start the installation. At this point it is going to download on your laptop or computer and set up the game. It typically takes a bit of time or it could be amazingly quickly. That all is dependent upon on our internet connection. It's just ended installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this particular button that I am presenting in green, so that you can use Asphalt 8 for the first time. We are at present on the emulator desktop, and then we are going to simply click on this brand new Asphalt 8 app icon which has been provided. The game is launched for the first time on your device. Here we get it, I can press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the volume of that emulator. It is right here. We use the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This way we do not rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the fullest, we could switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This one is the very first one, we mouse click on that icon which I am showing in green. Thus the screen is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In case we desire to play the video game using all the screen, we hit this particular icon. And consequently we would probably already be experiencing and enjoying the video game in 100% screen function. To quit the full screen setting, just click the F11 key. And consequently we would undoubtedly already play in normal display screen setting. At present, I am going to explain you the keyboard mapping and that is actually rather helpful. That way we will likely be capable to use the game application a lot more effortlessly. The first thing is to mouse click this application icon. It's now time to complete the required controls. I'll go ahead and leave the standard configuration, but if you need to adjust this, you may well do it without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is completely in our language. On occasion it happens that your emulator is presented in the erroneous language, for example, in Mandarin. And consequently to set it up in the right language we browse here to the cogwheel. And right here within additional controls, we click the language drop down. We will decide on the language we wish, Spanish, Chinese, and so on. After the language is determined, we would save, the emulator would reboot, as well as the game application, the next time we use it, will also be in the specified language. At this moment, there is another point that we will need to take into consideration, and this is that we will get a message from Gmail reporting that a different machine has been connected to our own Google account. It definitely will question us if we're the ones who have connected that electronic device. Yup, we ought not be troubled, since the emulator is behaving like a Google Android device. And to see which electronic device is currently being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Be sure you go here to the, model, selection. And here we realize that the emulator is acting as a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for this video user demo. I hope that you enjoyed it, especially that everyone found it useful. In this case, allow it a superb like, subscribe to the channel, and if you have feedback, requests or suggestions, put them in the comment area down below. You can even comment things on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams from time to time, you get it down below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click on any of these videos that are appearing on the listing of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the future online videos. Bye.